Hi, I'm Katarina Sperlin Koffel, and I'm so happy to have the opportunity to be with you this way. You know, thank God to the technology, we have a way to still communicate with each other. And so, um, for those of you who have done a metamorphosis workshop with me, uh, this is a refresher for you. And this is a reminder to use the conceptual pattern. So for those of you who are new to the metamorphosis work, um, this is a beautiful soft touch on your feet, on the inside of the feet, on the hand and on the head to activate your self-healing power. But of course, it's a little hard in a short time to show you in a video how to work on someone's feet. But um, there's another um, part of the metamorphosis work, which you can do with your hands. And that's what I'm going to show you. And this is the uh, conceptual pattern. And the conceptual pattern, you know, the uh, just like the our time in our in the in the womb of our mother is represented on the outside of the thumb and also on the um, on the bone ridge inside of our feet, going down um, from the big toe, going down all the way to the hip. Uh, to the heel. And so, um, yeah, so if you if you look at that, you know, like uh, where the thumb is basically the nail is starting, this is where the conceptual point is. And if we bend it, we see the crease, this is the conceptual point, and this is what we want uh, to cover to create this conceptual pattern. And so we have a crease on each thumb, and then we take the little finger or the ring finger, and it's, let's just see, I practiced a little before. So you see, this is my pinky, and this is the crease. So I'm touching it here, and I'm doing the same on the other side. And then you might be able to see it. We have like this ball, there you go. And so just imagine you're holding this ball of light. It's really a little hard in the video. So I hope it makes sense. But just imagine that uh, you put some light in there and then you always wanna remember to put yourself in there and whatever is of concern to you. And I'm sure, especially at this time, we have many things that can be of concern to us. So always, always remember to put yourself in there. Okay, so let me show you that again. This is the crease that you wanna touch here. And you take the one hand goes on top of the other and the pinky or the ring finger are touching the hole. And so does that work? You see here, it's touching the crease. Oops. Alrighty, so always remember to put yourself in there and then whatever is of your concern. I have had miracles happening using that. You know, like there were situations where they were just outside of my, um, uh, my, my, my ability to do something, you know. And so you can use it for anything where you say something needs to happen and I don't know what, but hand it over. I say hand it over to the divine, hand it over to the higher powers. And this is the way to go about it or one way, you know, this is what the metamorphosis. So you can put your prayers in there, of course, uh, yourself in any situation that is um, of concern, you know, like, one of your loved ones is um, on the road and you heard there's a, a bad weather situation, put it in there. So instead of worrying about them, put it in there. You know, if they are health concerns, if they are, um, you know, a lot of people have political concerns right now, put it in there, you know, and always ask for the best outcome for all. You know, this is like a given that whatever is happening in here, is um, there are solutions happening that we cannot even um, 
bottom, you know, like my my favorite story is from a, from a friend of mine who um, who came to uh, actually we became friends when she came to the workshop and she worked at the doctor's office and she worked there already for 16 years and then the doctor made the mistake to hire uh, his best friend's daughter as an apprentice and this girl was just really not fitting in you know she was late she was rude to the patient she was you know in a doctor's office you need hygiene she didn't care for that at all and so they didn't know what to do my friend was ready to quit you know even she loved the job but uh and the doctor couldn't fire her because she was his best friend's daughter right so so she was in a mess and she said oh katarina i'm so frustrated you know and then i said well why don't you put her in the conceptional pattern and she was like what and i said do you remember you know and she called me on a wednesday and i said put her in there put yourself in there put the situation in there and trust for the best on Friday, she called me. Uh, on Thursday, she uh, Wednesday, she called me. I told her to do that. On Friday, she calls me and says, Katerina, you won't believe what happened. I said, well, what happened? She said, Friday morning, the bitch wasn't there as she sh should have been. Then she called around 10 or 11 to let us know that she's not coming back at all because she found another job that she likes more and she doesn't want to come back at all. So could anybody have, you know, come up with a solution like that? I mean, it was so amazing. I have personal experiences with that. It's just with everything else, we have to practice it. We have to do it. But you can really, you know, whenever there is something of concern to you, instead of worrying about, you know, worrying is about praying for what you don't want. So don't do it. Okay, put it in the conceptual pattern and just trust that the best outcome is always there, you know, and it's not always visible for us, but there is a higher power that can help us and just tap into it and um, let me know with the miracles that are happening in your life. Okay, so this again, the conceptual pattern, here are the crease of uh, your thumb. If you have two, some people don't, cover them, put, um, you see, create like a hole, you can, um, like a, a light bulb, you can visualize a light bulb in there, put yourself in there, and then whatever is of concern to you. Alrighty, so I hope you're having fun doing that, and I sure hope to have a chance to see you sooner than later in person again, and all the best to everybody. And special thanks to Gladys and her team. And just be well, be healthy, stay positive, raise your vibration because we need to stay strong. And if we worry, our immune system gets weakened. And that's the last thing we need at this time. Okay, thank you. Oh, also, if you want to uh, be generous and give a love donation to the Osaka Research Institute, and if your donation is over $100, I would be more than happy to send you one of our half sacred cupid light life rings as a gift from us. You only have to pay $9 for the shipping and um, you cannot have enough rings. It has so many amazing um, applications and I would be so happy to uh, give something back to you. And of course, I will also give the Osaka Research Institute. Take good care, make the best of it, stay positive and healthy. Thank you.